Astronomers, including Carnegie's Yuri Beletsky, took precise measurements of the closest pair of failed stars to the Sun, which suggests that the system harbors a third planetary mass object. This particular system, Lumen 16 AB, was discovered earlier this year and is only 6.6 .6 light years away. Failed stars are known as brown dwarfs and have a mass below 8% of the mass of the Sun, not massive enough to burn hydrogen in their centers. Beletsky's team, led by Henri Buffon of the European Southern Observatory, found that both objects have a mass between 30 and 50 Jupiter masses. By comparison, the Sun has a mass of about 1,000 Jupiter masses. Beletsky explained that the two brown dwarfs are separated by about three times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. Binary brown dwarf systems are gravitationally bound and orbit about each other. Because these two dwarfs have so little mass, they take about 20 years to complete one orbit. The team used the FORS-2 instrument on ESO's Very Large Telescope at Paranal to image the brown dwarf couple in the best possible conditions every five or six days over the period April 14th to June 22, 2013. Bafa explained that his team had been able to measure the positions of these two objects with a precision of a few milli arc seconds. This is like a person in Paris being able to measure the position of someone in New York with a precision of 10 centimeters. Because the instrument enabled the observers to make very precise measurements, the astronomers were able to measure the positions of the two brown dwarfs with 10 times better accuracy than before and thereby detect even small perturbations of their orbit. The astronomers were able to see some very small deviations from the expected motion of the two brown dwarfs around each other, most likely caused by a companion planetary mass object with an orbital period between two months and a year. Further observations are required to confirm the existence of a planet, but it may well turn out that the closest brown dwarf binary system to the Sun turns out to be a triple system. The research is published as a letter to the editor in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics. It's available online. With the independence for nimble pursuit, Carnegie scientists tackle some of the most profound challenges in modern science, fundamentally changing what's possible for us, our planet, and our universe.